What is up everyone, Kate here from MB Tennis. Hope you guys are doing great today. Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about tactics and specifically four tactics and a bonus tip that can help you guys win more points in more matches. But before we jump into the video, do not forget to like and subscribe. Of course, it really helps the channel, but also there is some great content on here that I think is very beneficial for all players, parents, coaches, and of course there's going to be more to come, so be sure to you know, help the channel out and like and subscribe. But to the video now, like I said, four tactics I'm going to talk to you guys about today, plus a bonus tip. But first, tactics, like what is that? People you know, get very confused, they think it's complicated, it's not. I'm going to really try and simplify it for you. When you're playing your matches, one thing that I really want you to think about out there is identifying what your opponent is not good at and then using your strengths to put to their weakness. So that's just something that you guys can think about. If they got a crap backhand and you got a great backhand, then a very simple thing to think about is trying to rally backhand to backhand. That's just one thing that I literally just thought about right now, but can it, be, it can be as simple as that. So, but I'm gonna give you guys four tactics and a bonus tip that can help you guys win some more points here now. So the first one I wanna talk about is making your opponent move. You guys might be like, wow, that's so simple. It is, and so many people don't do it. They just rally up the middle, there's no purpose. They hit one cross court, then they're like, man, I'm gonna hit one to the middle, then I'm gonna go inside out. Like, there's no thought, even though you are moving your opponent around. So if I know my opponent struggles moving and doesn't like to hit volleys, well then you know what? I'm gonna move them up and back. I'm gonna hit a couple drop shots. I'm gonna push them back maybe with a moon ball, make them move the distance to the net with the drop shot. You need to make sure you're thinking out there. That's so important. So many people can win matches out there just by thinking tactically. Making your opponent move can also be making them hit uh, forehands outside of the singles and double sidelines if they struggle with forehands on the run. And of course, this goes for players that are like one to four UTRs all the way to like pro players. Making your opponent move can really, is all these tactics actually are for players of all levels. So number one, making your opponent move. Number two is consistency. A lot of people throw this term around a lot. Uh, today we're gonna work on volume and consistency. Today we're gonna work on consistency, da 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 da. I don't like it when it gets thrown around and it's not used properly. At the lower level, consistency can literally mean just by throwing the ball back in the court more than your opponent. There's so many times in juniors where guys will go for really silly, stupid shots from way behind the baseline or way outside uh, the singles and double sidelines when they don't really need to. It also can go for club players or even players like me. Consistency can go a long way at a higher level. It could mean, you know, if somebody has a weak backhand, battery ramming it to their backhand, just making balls over and over, knowing that their backhand is not gonna hurt me. So it's really simple, just putting the ball back in play more than your opponent. Grinding is a term that I like to use and a lot of other people like to use, just getting balls back and back and back. So there's two tactics. Tactic number three, which is one of my favorites, is taking time away from your opponent. So this can go two ways. Of course, a lot of people like to use the volley uh, as a way to take time away, and that is a great way to do so. Serving and volleying is a great way to do it. Taking the time away, you know, hitting a wide serve, coming to the net, moving forward, taking that volley, and taking the time away from them to react and putting the pressure on them right away. That's a good example. Or also just coming to the net in general um, is a great way to, you know, kind of shock your opponent. They don't know what's coming. Approach with a slice or something like that, and all of a sudden, boom, you're at the net. Another way that you can do this is taking the ball on the rise. Um, even though it might be like a millisecond here or there or a second here or there, it does make a difference. A great way uh, that I also just thought about now that you can do this is a lot of time guys are hitting high shots, high net clearance shots that are landing deep. A lot of people refer to this as the moon ball or a lot of people refer to this type of player as a pusher. To beat the pusher, a way that you can take time away from them is volley that ball out of the air or swing volley that ball out of the air and approach the net. That's a great way to take time away from your opponent and actually defeat 
the pusher. That's something that they don't like. Tactic number four is the opposite of taking time away and that is buying time. Okay, so this one you can't maybe use as much as the other three tactics, but it can be very beneficial. A lot of players on clay do this very well. You know, you're on the run, you send a ball super high up, give yourself time to recover to get back, uh, you know, to the middle of the court or wherever you're trying to recover to get ready for the next point. Andy Murray is somebody that does a really good job at this. Or like I said, a lot of clay players, a lot of Spaniards, French guys do this really well. Send a ball up, they play a good lob or something like that. Or even just playing balls with high net clearance to give them that time to reset the point. Even a slice could be used as this as well. However, I'm gonna talk about the slice and how that's kind of the bonus tip that I'm gonna to talk to you guys about. But you can slice to kind of buy yourself time as well. And the little bonus tip that I wanted to talk to you guys about today is not really an official tactic in my eyes. However, some might consider it, but it's the change of pace. So change of pace can mean a few things. It could mean a drop shot. It could mean a deep slice. It could mean a moon ball. It could be taking it early, that's when you would use taking time away and hitting that flat kind of kill shot. Uh, it can be used on the serve, you know, change of pace. You might be serving a lot of flat bombs throughout the match and all of a sudden you throw a kick to their forehand when you've been, you know, hitting a lot to their backhand or whatever that may be. Change of pace can be very uh, beneficial to use, especially in key points of matches. So there's four tips for you guys that can really help you out, or I should say four tactics and one tip. So to one, run through them again, moving your opponent. Number two was to take time away. Uh, number three, or sorry, number two was consistency. Where am I going? Number three is to take time away. And number four is to buy time. And I did just give you guys a little bit of tip about change of pace. So if you guys watch pros, they do all of these so, so well. All of the pros are, are super consistent and you know, with the clay swing coming up now, you guys can really see that consistency factor in as well. You see guys serving and volleying, you see guys taking on the rise, that's taking time away. You see guys hitting slices, throwing up high moon balls, you know, trying to mess with their opponent, that's buying time. And then of course, kind of uh, mixing these together and trying to find a way to win matches. Uh, can can um, a, a kind of tip that you can use there, like I said, is change of pace. So that's gonna be it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. I think if you really try just one of these tactics on court next time in your practice or in a tiebreaker or whoever, uh, with your coach or whatever, uh, it can really help you and then you can kind of use that in matches. So let me, guys, let me know what you guys think down in the comments uh, if you enjoyed this type of video. That it's going to be it for today. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll catch you guys in the next video.